one our maximum. But yeah, that, that drive through river game was good. With the tutorial, that's right. Choose a name, Nemo. Uh, we play a medium. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. <laughs> <laughs> Moron. The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let a cleric work. <laughs> I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures. Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! Cock! Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click and a spear springs up just under your feet. Fog, I sprung a trap. I've got a <laughs> saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, <laughs> fucking beer! Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. Bastards, you switched off the light. I'm peeing in here. Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. Fuck, I can't see anything. What the hell? Where's the toilet? I don't get it, I was just peeing in it. Oops, I think I just pissed on the floor. Let's see if I can find the door. Nope, this is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh-huh. I better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter in your inventory. Once you find it, select the Equip option. To open and close the inventory, press Inventory. Press Inventory. Which is Tab. Oh, you see the head of display appeared, and we're going to press tab. Yeah. Equip. Aha! There's our little dude. And I'm going to have to move the camera elsewhere, because otherwise I'm going to block him. A lot. Okay. Now, we see that we are not in the bathroom at all. What's this? Stone walls. Columns? Darkness? Where the hell am I? Of course. Those bastards must have put some sort of psychotropic shit in my beer. I'm having a hallucination. Cool. It almost looks real. <laughs> uh, what's this? There's something ahead. It looks like... Holy shit! A skeleton! I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking a nap. <laughs> sure. I can see her as a skeleton. Or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. Nah. A trap. It hurts. I have to press enter. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay, mm -hmm. while the drug's working, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool. I'll compete against myself, even if I've never been a dungeon master. Yeah, whatever shit they put in my beer is really amazing. Yeah, I agree. Better draw a map so I don't get lost. <laughs> Press map to see the map. You can map. place notes map. on the map by clicking on an area. Map, map, map. Now it says map, map, map here. Okay. So I want to see if I can increase the user interface. Yes. Very important with a big resolution size. You can uh, 
limit to 60 frames. Sound is uh, Spanish, English or no voices. And you can set up some things here if you want and you can rebind. You can also use a controller. So our t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Let's climb up the ladder. Oh, this is pretty. Uh... Dangerous. So pretty dark, huh? Poor skeletons. Looks like we have a guest, and he is unarmed. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I was just leaving. Of course not. Let me offer you my hospitality. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> that shit, that was scary. That shadow thing pounced at me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? <laughs> this is not possible. <gasps> there is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. Holy shit! I've been possessed! <laughs> Damn it! I can't escape! I am trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh! I'm possessed! I'm possessed! Why the hell do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body and I can do whatever pleases me! Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it, you some bitch? <laughs> Fuck you! Stupid creature! I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. In a couple of hours, the drug will wear off anyway. So you don't scare me. He keeps telling himself that. Um, so we have inventory and then we've got... Let's see what that's changing. All right, now our character sheet. Oh, that's the hot keys here. With the F with the F keys, you switch the the hot key settings here. Okay. Bum bum bum. Look at these corpses. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. <gasps> dun dun dun. Yeah, the language is ripe. And when you start up the game, you can pick... Um, uh, you can pick if you want the version for 12-year-olds or for 16-year-olds. And I clicked on 16-year-olds. And uh, apparently that includes a lot of ripe language. Um... You have to decide for yourself how important it is <laughs> to have lots of swear words in your game. But I wasn't sure if it would uh, also change. Hey, a sword! Finally! It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke Guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid. Thou would know that I have no body, and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. <laughs> a world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? <laughs> Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Uh, shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. To collect the sword, get ah. close to it and press action. Action. Then, to equip it, find it in the inventory. And select equip. Yes. We can call a short sword. And oh. What? All right. That's uh, okay. I see. Jump on. I'm gonna try to see uh, if it works well with the controller. 
Let's have a look. Can we switch mid game? Uh, not really. Thanks for the shout out. Controller doesn't really work because I disabled it. What, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. <laughs> Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Them. Shiny coins. If you wish to collect part of the treasure, stand over it and press action. <laughs> Go back. Thou left your coins. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press menu to open the menu. Sorry, oh, swinging. Pressing up is jumping. I wonder what all the other buttons do then. Assign a shortcut, okay. Press the shortcut. And use the mouse. Now oh, that doesn't really work. Okay, that's our light. A weapon. Controller doesn't really work. I remember that I had some issues setting the controls up for this game back then. Um, default controls are the cursor keys. Base is swinging. We might just. Use <laughs> oh, a snake! Snake! It's enormous. Shit! That motherfucker's as tall as me. Ooh. Press attack to attack. Edged attack, weapons attack. like swords are especially effective against living creatures. Very true. Snake! Ah. Snake! Snake! <laughs> a chest. And where there's a chest, there's loot. Press action when in front of the chest to open it. Should it contain anything, press <laughs> action again to pick it anything. up. Anything? A mace. No. We can equip that. <laughs> Amazing. It's gonna happen soon. Hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axes are super effective against solid objects or super effective. monsters. Swords, daggers, and spears. Oh god, the tutorial effective. is very cheesy and Using bad. the mace against barrels is the best option. Sure thing, Mr. Tutorial Voice. Arrows. Super duper effective, man. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. Another snake. Let's make some snake steaks. 
To swap between weapons without having to open the inventory, you can assign a quick key in your inventory by clicking the item, selecting Assign Shortcut, then pressing the key you wish to bind. It helps. That helps more. Okay. <gasps> Geronimo! Ah, we got a bow and my axe. So. It's a bit, um. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Let's light the torch. Yay. Hope that bell press. Ah, oh. a secret. No. Hey, Dark. I have. How's that? You are. You're. If I. Well, you. A very interesting conversation. I want to show some more gameplay. You can light all the things. It is recommended to assign a shortcut to healing po when you mm. use a boat. Hmm. Okay, I keep pressing the right mouse button to use uh, uh, Okay. What that do? I think I got some extra XP for lighting all the things. Hmm, okay. Crouch when near an edge to illuminate the area below. Oh. Okay, I can jump like that. Didn't know. Uh, huh? <gasps> That's a lot of damage. It dropped a small sapphire. Evil trap of evil. Healed. Oh. Squishy things. So far, we're good on health. Got, we got hit a tiny bit, but... Ah, more heals. Right, and so you explore this this dungeon that you're totally not making up in your mind. And... Uh, you level up, and... Ooh, that looks like... Okay. Needs a key to the guard. Oh, shit! Key to the gardens. Gods of Cobol. What is this thing? <laughs> it's a magical prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. Mm. There's a spirit locked in that box? Sure. What, like a mm. rival god? A mist You're snake. You're a mistaken, fatuous <laughs> mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. <laughs> really? Why is it what? locked up? It is a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, it can communicate through that beam of light. Mm. Wow, must be an important guy. What's he do? I will not reveal that information. No? 
Okay, I'll ask it myself. You. So, um, it's probably a good idea to play without the voice lines because they didn't age too well. Uh, cheesy RPG dude is. Who is he? <laughs> Can't you tell? I've possessed this body to carry out an important mission for my great lord Harnakon. You filthy liar. On Korobaj, it's been a long time. What is this body you've taken? This. Right, because uh, he's um, he's a bit of an obnoxious person and not that funny anymore now. Did Twenty you years later. I wanted to check the release date of this. Uh, I can't. I think it's early two thousands, but. Uh, uh, what an epic! There you go. Oh, twenty fourteen. I thought it was uh, it was old, much older than that. It it reads like it's older than that. <laughs> the humor is a bit early two thousands. I mean, there, there are, there are gaming culture references, and it's a, it's a, it's a nerd game. Oh, you, you know what you're in for if you, if you get into this. It's currently three euro or something, um, on Steam, which is a fair price for what this does, or what this offers. Oops. That's a bat wing. I didn't remember that you level up so slow. Slowly. You get a lot of red essence here. And, um,. The, one of the descriptory tags that I found is that this is kind of like Metroid. Obviously, that makes no sense at all because Metroid is a, is a hardcore platforming exploration game. But um, you explore a 2D thing, a 2D area with shortcuts and whatnot. So it's a Metroid like. Another bat, and obviously the the uh, the exploration part is the good part of this game. Uh, teleports you under the golden box of the healing spirit can be used as many times as you wish. Oh, well that's good. Shortcut on zero. And then you go back here. The halo is a powerful artifact that teleports you directly. To yeah, we totally just already did that. Or your voice. And um, the tutorial can also be skipped. That doesn't hurt the game too much. <laughs> huh. Is that a pizza symbol over there? That totally is a pizza symbol over there. Yeah, right. Skip the tutorial and then... <laughs> Look for a similar door somewhere in the castle to open the passage. Similar door somewhere in the castle. Are you kidding me? Looks like this door leads to a path. Look for a similar... Right. So this is the central hub from which we uh, navigate. The rest of the world. But not yet. And then you explore and find out what the hell that spirit wants that possesses your body unsuccessfully. And you level up like in a classic uh, RPG. And you kill lots of bats because they are very annoying enemies. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Squishy things. Food. Oh, we found Ranger's clothing. That is uh, armor level one, extra damage with bows, right? We are changing our dress. This is armor level zero. Protection against fire and frost is something we lost now, but we can now be a better ranger. <gasps> oh, 
They take four arrows. That's a lot. That was a lot of XP as well. Look, look, look. A library. So you find keys and then you open the doors at that uh, particular. Smashing all the barrels. Oh, that's an epic. It's a very niche nerd game. <laughs> That's right. His name is Zoran. I can read. Thanks. He is a hustler, a usurer, a swindler. A usurer? He will try to teach you with even the word? prices. If you kill him, you will be able to obtain all his belongings. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> hmm. If you want me to kill him, <laughs> it's because you. Ah, want he's so him smart, to our main character, isn't he? you before i'm um a sith a dark knight my name is dark helmet and i have been sent to protect my lord's <laughs> castle God, so by bad. harnikon himself <laughs> oh. you welcome to humble store oh great dark knight name is oran and me butter which butter you we have lots of good to buy or sell shut up <laughs> let's see what does he offer uh, weapons, a flare launcher, a classic controller. Uh, okay. Short arrow, long arrow, arcane arrow. A GG t shirt, yay! And um, a candle, a scroll of melee protection, a spark of life. Resurrects a dead pet. Oh, you can have pets. Teleports you to Zoran's shop. Locate the box and contain the pure spirit. Mm, and the icon will appear on your map. It's not expanded upon. Golden box. In your area. So there are other areas where you have to find the golden box. And this is a quick, uh, quick finder. Teleports you to the person who gave you your active quest. Oh, that's nice. Gives you exceptional knowledge about your active quest, giving the location of needed items or clues to solve difficult puzzles. <gasps> Teleports you to the farthest point you could walk without falling or jumping. Interesting. Great to Zoran. So the shell you can use again. And this is a one-time use. Okay, I see. We've got 19 gold, so... Can't afford a lot. Maybe we could use a candle instead of the uh, lighter. I'm gonna buy a candle, just in case. So that was Zoran's shop. <laughs> oh, slimes! Ah! <laughs> Go back up. Slimy, slimy thing. And catch gotcha. health. Yeah, we and used the heal, heal potion earlier, so nearly at full health again. Ooh, a spear. Ooh. Right. So that's an epic. Questionable humor, <laughs> very niche thing, but I thought I thought it was uh, very much something that you at least need to be aware of. Um, oh, who, who might that be? Who might you be? And it's a game that I remember I liked a lot back when I played it, which was uh, apparently more more than five years ago. No, my memory was a bit fuzzy. I remembered it to be more. Allows you to. Yeah, um, I I remembered it to be a bit more funny, but 
This is set here. Okay. Um, now, we get five points to distribute. We want to be a uh, ranger. Level cap, uh, skill cap is your is your current level. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, more health and better with this. Well, robes maybe. No, I don't want to keep these changes. I want to do again. Uh, constitution potions, armor, and bows. And then we've got one more point for daggery things. Okay, now we want to keep those changes. We leveled up, which is very easy and straightforward. You can also get um, get to find pets, which is kind of cool, I think. When gaining a level, you increase in, in the Thanks tutorial that you explained this after I did it. <gasps> Shit, I walked in. No more traps. Right, so if you want to grab this because you think it's cute and funny and weird, uh, it's three euro something on Steam currently. <laughs> It's 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 totally if you you know if you're aware of what you're getting yourself into it's very cute humor. It has a, a few very actual fun f fun funny bits, and I never finished the game. Um, but uh, yeah, I like it, and and I felt like I needed to show this around a bit. Um, the same developers did Unmetal, which we also had in, have in the archive. Um, you can check out the gameplay. That's a bit more modern. And it's it's sillier, and a bit more fun, or the humor is more to my liking, I should say. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. And now we're gonna move. Is it unepic? Is unepic on epic though? I don't know. But you can get it on GOG as well. And now we're gonna check out Doors Paradox, which is a puzzle game. <laughs> 